Alrighty guys, so um, what I've done here for you is created a Google Sites for our campus and um, once I share this with you, you guys will be able to um, will be able to collaborate and customize and tailor it to fit the needs of, of both your teaching and our students learning. Uh, but for the time being, I just wanted to kind of uh, navigate through what is Google Sites just in case you know we're not familiar with it. Uh, up here on the top menu bar we have the title of our Google Sites. Let's try not to change that just so that we always know how to search for it. You have an undo and a and a redo. You have a preview of what your site is looking at uh, looking like as you're working with it. In addition you have uh, the link, so once we want to start sharing out this link, this is where we would get it. Once I share this um, with you guys, uh, this is where you'll be able to see or if you want to share it with someone else. But remember that they would have access and they would have be, be able to edit it. Um, in addition to this, guys, this right-hand side has to do with everything that we're going to be creating uh, here. And so what I've done is I've already created two pages here. I've created the sixth grade and I added that background and I'll show you how to do this in a bit and I've created the seventh grade one for you. Feel free to change that uh, as you'd like. Now what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to show you how to create a new page uh, for eighth grade social studies. You can always create sub pages. I'm going to just go ahead and click on these three little dots right here and you can create sub pages to your page. So uh, you could follow these instructions as a creating a new page. So this new page is going to be 8th grade U.S. history and it keeps the old uh, what I had before that and if you notice it put it up here in between so I'm going to change it up and I want it over here. And so what I want to do is I want to change the image in the background so what you do is you just hover over, change image, select image, unless you have it on your desktop, but I'm going to search for one and I'm going to search for we the people because of the constitution. And so I like that one and I'm going to select it and now I have it right there. This adjusting for re readability, what it does is it makes the image a little bit more opaque so that the text can pop out and be more uh, vibrant for us to see. So I'm just going to kind of beautify that right there. And there you go. I like it. So my page is created. Now let's talk about including our stuff into our play page. And so I'm going to go to insert. This is another tab. So I'm going to click on insert. What you notice on insert, I can add text boxes, images, co uh, embed codes, and I can add straight from my drive. This is the easiest and best way, guys, because for the most part, our campus does have all of our resources in our drive. And so this is really just facilitates us uh, putting everything in here. Once we have all our resources in our drive, this makes it so much easier to create our site. It's it's it really is a piece of cake. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of scroll through here and I'm going to add a divider because I think it looks nicer. In addition to that, I want to add my 8th grade social studies department already has a Google Sites, but I wanted this to be a little more comprehensive so that it's 6th, 7th, and 8th. So what I'm going to add here is I'm going to go ahead and double click. And if you notice, if I double click, uh, I get the same uh, features and tools that I have over here. So I'm going to add a text and I'm going to add an, a link. And so I'm going to type in the link to our Google site, bit.ly forward slash 2019, gosh, I believe it's JD8SS, apply. And then I'm going to beautify it because I want it to look nice. So if you notice all the things I did there, I centered it. I created it so that it's a title, therefore it makes it bigger. The other thing I want to do is I want this to be a certain color. So I'm going to go here. As I hover over it, I have a painter's palette, and I want it to look like that. And so now I have it. 
And so it looks awesome. I love the way it looks. And so when the kids access this, uh, they can click on that and it's going to take them directly to our eighth grade social studies Google site. Now, what do, what, what do we want you guys to be doing? What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be adding from our drive all the resources you want the kids to be viewing and creating or accomplishing, you know, or, or watching. So let's make this really simple. The very first thing is we want to, I'm going to double click and I want to add from my drive. I can click on this one or I can click on this. And so because it is linked to our drive, I have my drive here. So for example, here are my drives. I can go to my drive, share drives, or drives that are shared with me. And so here I'm gonna to go to my social studies department. I'm gonna to go to eighth grade. You guys would be dumping all of your resources into sixth and seventh grade, unless you already have them there. And so I'm gonna to go to eighth grade and I have a lot of resources in eighth grade that I'm gonna be using here. And so the first thing I wanna do is start adding some of these resources. So I want to, let's say I wanna add a copy of a chapter, uh, which is the constitution chapter. I'm gonna click on it and then it says that one is selected and I'm gonna insert it. And so there you have it, that chapter is there. Now I don't have to do this, but I'm a little OCD and I want the whole thing to show the whole page. So I click on that and I keep my finger pressed on it and I drag and I drag until I see the page and I just think it looks nicer that way. And so let's say I want the kids to be viewing this, reading this. And so after they read this, I want them to also watch a YouTube video. And so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to YouTube. And let's say it's on the Constitution. So part of the Constitution is the Great Compromise. And I'm going to search. And these are all the YouTube videos on the Great Compromise. And let's say I've already, which is good practice, vetted through these. And I found that the best one is is this one from a uh, crash course, which is a really legitimate uh, resource. So I'm gonna click that one. And now for the sake of it looking nicer, I'm gonna click and drag and I want it to, I want it to be there. And so now I have this YouTube video here for my kids to watch, okay? And so the last thing we wanna do, once we've added it like that, from here you can, you can add divisions to it. Like let's say I wanna add another divider, but I want this divider to be up on top of this. So I'm going to click and drag to here, oops, to right here. And it showed the blue line and now I have that divider there. I can also double click here and I wanna add a title. And so I'm gonna go title, heading, uh, constitution. That's the title, right? but I want this title. I don't know if you guys can notice you have these, these little dots up there. I want this title to be up here. So I'm gonna drag and I want it to be kind of right there. And so I am going to drag this right here. And so there you go. And again, I want to add a different background to that. I'm going to search and I'm going to put a uh, parchment paper because that's what the constitution was and I think it'll look nicer. And so now there it is. So there I have it. If I want to, I can change this and click on it and it'll give me that the original uh, view of it. And so now I'm ready to publish this because I want the kids to be able to see it. It'll show me how it looked before, well, the page wasn't published, and how it looks now. And so now I'm gonna click on, click on publish, and now it's done. So this is what the kids would be seeing if they're accessing it from a desktop. So they would go to home, and this is my home page, and from here, they're gonna go to eighth grade US history, and they can click on this link or they can go and go to constitution 
watch this video, and then we can just keep adding and adding to it. I can even create sub pages. So um, I divide these into eras or content or categories or strands if you're ELA. So other than that, guys, really that's the gist of how we uh, add and create our Google Sites. I hope that I was uh, clear enough for you guys to be able to create one. Please let me know if you have any questions. We'll be here for the next three weeks available to you guys. And uh, of course, even after that. But uh, I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any questions, please, please let me know. All right. Thanks.